Take a good friend of mine, Nigel Nichols of Photo Solutions, at one of these goth weekends. thought it was an absolutely brilliant shot. And I must be honest, I always tend to work in colour. I love working in colour. However, at a recent talk, I was told of a sort of a, a black and white technique that I thought was absolutely brilliant. So let's take a look at it. We're going to come, first of all, to the Layers panel. We're going to duplicate the background layer using Command J or Control J, changing the Blend Mode to Overlay. You see the difference that makes. We're going to go to filter, dropping down to other, coming across to high pass, just as you would if you were sharpening it. But we're going to take it up. Depends on the file size you're working with. But with this one, about 8.4 looks pretty good. If we just zoom in as well, you can see the effect that's having on his jacket there. Just switching the preview on and off. Looks brilliant. Click OK to that. Right, zooming out a little bit. Let's drop down to the adjustment layer. We're going to come down, it's off the screen, but it's gradient map I'm heading for. That opens the gradient map here. Clicking on the little sort of black to the white area there brings up our gradient editor. Dropping down, if we click on the end stop here, if I move this in, just release it there, you can see it's introducing more blacks into the image. You can do exactly the same with the whites. You can increase the amount of whites in the picture by bringing this through. So you can make it as harsh as you like or whatever, but got to be a little bit careful because the more I move the white in, the more it's going to bleach out that scarf. So I'm going to bring it back to that area there. Let's click on the center slider. This is now introducing more of the grays in the picture and you can just see the bar moving through there into that area just a little bit more, just like the way the shadow's coming around the face there, it looks pretty good. And a little bit more again. Job done. All right, let's take that in a touch or two. Great stuff. Right, click OK to that. Coming back to the Layers panel. Dropping down to the background layer again. Command J, Control J, lifting it up to the top of the layer stack. Coming, changing the blend mode once again to overlay. Now that looks really good. That's actually quite a good effect and it might be even worth trying this and just to, you know, changing the opacity could look really good. But we're going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Other. We're going to go back to High Pass. But this time we're not going to be doing it sort of anywhere near as high. We're going to drop this down to something round about uh, that area there. And again, if we just zoom in, we can take a look. That's got quite a nice effect there. What we've got, we've got 2.5. Love the way we've got this really nice, uh, it almost looks like sort of that, uh, what's it called, PVC stuff, that's the stuff, yeah, click OK to that. Right, almost there. Next, dropping down, we're going to go back to gradient map. Alright, you can put some more black and white in, but uh, <laughs> I did say when we started off I do love colour. Alright, if I can't have colour, let's have a tone. We're going to come in, clicking on the end stop here, I'm going to drop down, Clicking where the colour is black is going to open the Select Stop Colour dialog box, which is pretty good. Clicking in the window here, let's go for a blue and pretty dark blue. Click OK, click OK, and back to the Layers panel. Taking a look, always tempted. The first one I usually try for something like this is something like Soft Lights, and I, I like the way that's working. But if you try colour with this particular one, it gives a really nice tone to the picture, looking pretty good there. The beauty of this is, we can come into this, we can come back to this, we can come back to this, and we can, you're still there, good, right, we can come in and we can change this colour now to whatever we want, so even sort of perhaps something in a bit of a greeny tone, yeah, why not try something different, and so coming down, something in a bit of a, you know, sepia tone, I think will work well with this picture here, if that area it looks pretty good. Don't forget, this is all completely adjustable. So uh, whatever tone you put in, you can always come in, you can always change, you can try other tones and other sort of effects. But there it is. It's just a great way to really, I thought when I came across this, when Chris told me about it, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Let's just pop it on the black background, makes it even scarier. Tab on the keyboard. There you are. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.